Here we will explore true facts about the I.I. Much like the pug, the I.I. walks the delicate tightrope between radically ugly and cute as hell. The I.I. resembles a cat who was bitten by a vampire and then halfway through the transformation just said screw it. To give you a sense of its size, here is an I.I. pictured next to a slightly smaller I.I. For a long time, scientists thought the I.I. was a rodent because of its rodent-like front teeth that never stop growing and must constantly be worn down. However, now it is known that the I.I. is a highly specialized lemur. And trust me, lemurs were not too thrilled by that news. The I.I.'s most amazing adaptation is its freakishly long and thin middle finger. Like the human shoulder, this finger has a ball and socket joint and can rotate almost 360 degrees around the hand. It is packed with sensory neurons, and because of the energy it consumes, it is only warmed up when in use. This is because, like the woodpecker, the I.I. is a percussive hunter. To find grubs, they tap on the trunks and branches of trees up to eight times per second with their creepy finger, which is probably annoying as hell. Like those people who clink their cereal bowls, learn how to use a spoon not an instrument. As they tap, they listen to the echo and feel the vibrations to find hollow grub-filled chambers. When they find one, they use their teeth to open a hole in the tree and use their middle finger as sort of a grub dipstick. Very dainty eating. Terrifying for the grub, by the way. You can imagine all grub's scary stories begin with there was a knock at the door. I know what you're thinking, sicko, but no, no, that's not an IIPP. That is an IITT, because the II's nipples are inguinal, meaning they're located on the lower stomach, sort of groin area. This is why the II does not wear pants. Don't judge. You try pulling a pair of pants up to your nipples and taking a jog through the forest. That's a recipe for chafing. Just be glad your nipples migrated north, and that they stopped before they got to your chin. Try wearing a bicycle helmet then. Like most mammals, the I.I. follows the rule of one half, meaning that its litter size is on average one half the number of its nipples. With two nipples, the I.I. has one baby at a time. Just like my mother always used to say, find a girl with twelve nipples, son. Sadly, the I.I. is threatened, partially due to a local superstition that if it points its middle finger at you, you have to kill it, which is very similar to the customs of a North American fraternity party. Remember this, if someone gives you the finger, they might just be hungry. Or they're a total ass. (gasps)